Yeah, yeah, fuck Donald Trump. Yeah, fuck Donald Trump. Yeah, fuck Donald Trump. Dude, dude. Yo, what's the science, yo? I am the Mega. This is the Mega Code. As you can see by the logo, if y'all don't know, no, it's the Demega Code Show. All right. That was um coming in. Um, that was what's my man in the name on um, um but he wasn't on the remix, was he? I think okay. I know it was Macklemore and then G Easy and um YG and it was the Nissy Hustle then. And uh, the sound, the, the, the remix is called Fuck Donald Trump. Yo, I'm with that. Listen, he already, he putting the dagger, he, he, he daggering himself right now, y'all. <clears throat> so he's an example of if you put your foot in your own, all you got to do is just keep talking. You know what I mean? I think now he's just like, yo, I know I'm finna lose. So now I'm just finna just start just kicking up shit. Just left and right. I'm just going to start telling people, hey, yo, do this, do that. Go and, uh, you know, go shoot these people. Hey, don't take this from these. Don't take that. Don't, you know what I mean? He's going to kick up some unrest out here, y'all. So y'all be careful because uh, the Don is on one right now. Y'all, I mean, he, y'all, when y'all watching now, he, sometimes he wear that hat. He wear that hat to say, make America great again. Then sometimes he got that, the foo pop top, the, uh, he got the the white Gumby, like, you know what I mean? You remember Bobby Brown had the Gumby, right? He got the white version of it. It's like the 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 slumby or something. I, I don't know what what it what, what it is, all right? So that's uh that's to them though. I like them. I like them on there. Um Um They I don't really know what the, the fucking motive is. You know what I mean? I, you just saying fuck Donald Trump, but I guess that's the motive, right? I guess if you say that enough, you don't really need a reason. You know what I mean? You got a bunch of people say, man, fuck you, fuck you. Ain't nobody going to just stop and say, well, why? No, nah, man, fuck you. It don't matter why. <laughs> That's why I do it like this on my show, y'all. Now, don't forget, this is a fitness show. However, fuck Donald Trump, all right? Now, we're talking about alkaline. We're talking about East Plexity. We're talking about fitness motivation. We're talking about quotes. We're talking about getting in shape. We're talking about staying in shape, y'all. Um, <clears throat> of course, I'm gonna be talking about my current events right now. Um, and a lot of it don't got nothing to do with fitness. A lot of it don't have nothing to do with. Fit. A lot of it is political. Some of it is just ambitious. Some of it just let you know what's going on. Like for example, Drake brought out Eminem. I know you're probably wondering, what the hell that got to do with anything, right? Well, here's the deal. Drake brought out Eminem in a the, in the, in the, uh, concert in Detroit because it was supposed to have been the Drake diss song to Eminem, and Eminem was supposed to battle and all this other stuff. Anyway, man, that was a clever move by Drake. This dude is a clever dude. You know what I mean? You talk about, yo, people saying, well, why don't you battle Eminem for the hardest, you know, for the hardest, uh, uh, you know, title or the best rapper or whatever. Jess, I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to have him do a show with me. How about that? You know what I mean? In his hometown. How about that? Detroit versus everybody. Woo! Smart move, Drake. Smart move. Boy, I swear, if it wasn't for, the, if, 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 if it wasn't for Drake, boy, the light-skinned dudes would be back in the Al B. Shore days. I'm telling you, I ain't with nobody. I didn't nobody card. Didn't nobody come hard since Al B. Gotta get up on your own, girl. <laughs> Shout out to Al B. Shore. Do we still got the unibrow thing going on? Shout out to Al B. Shore. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What else? Who else happened? Um, what else happened here? The Olympics. The Olympics. Shout out to Simone. There's two Simones in there. The swimming one and the uh, the uh, uh, the gymnastic ones. All right. So shout out to both of them. The first black chick to win to uh, win the uh, gold medal in swimming. Shout out to you. You deserve that. I think they said who was it that that was it Dorothy Dandridge or, or I forget who was it. I forget what lady it was that dipped her toe in the pool and they emptied the whole pool at the hotel. I just don't. I forget the name though. It's been dropped for me. Dorothy Dandridge. 
See, I'm smarter than what I look, y'all. You know what I mean? So yeah, it was Dorothy Dandridge. And um, they, they, um, <clears throat> Hunter Moore, what's up? I see you. I'm going to shout you out. Uh, um, what you say? He, Mexico. <laughs> I, I don't know what you said, man. Come time back in. Rodisha Jackson, um, Hannibal Leck, Hannibal Leck in the house. I see you. I see the signs. Um, y'all check out, uh, Hannibal Leck, Black Music. Is it black music, right? Make sure I say it right, Hannibal. You know what I mean? Let me let me you know you chime in. I know it's black music. Y'all chime in and check him out on iTunes. Uh, Hannibal Lett. All right. Um, who else was I talking about? Uh, Dorothy Dandridge was in the swimming pool, and they they uh, they had to drain the whole swimming pool. And then who else? Well, I think it was was it Sammy Davis or somebody, somebody like that. Anyway, anyway, uh, we came a long way from. Uh, draining swimming pools to winning Olympic medals, and uh, shout out to them. I mean, not I'm gonna be real. Like, like I don't really care about the medals and all that. I like I like the the prestige that comes along with it. Like, I just like to see us win. <laughs> you know what I mean? Period. Point blank. I'm hey, Black Lives Matter, yo. I just love to see black people win. I'm black. You know what I mean? So for me to sit here like, yo, like, uh, I don't, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm happy. Every medal that y'all get, bring it on. Bring it on in, y'all. Bring it on in. And <clears throat> shout out to uh, uh, Michael Phelps. He been, he been, he knocked him out. I think he got four or five. I don't know if it was five. But I know it was four. All right. Shout out to Michael Phelps only because he's an advocate. Still won the most medals in history. In the Olympic history, you know why? He smoked Kush. <clears throat> he smoked good Kush, too. Shout out to Michael Phelps. Let's blow one way when you get on, man. And uh, let's see, who else? <clears throat> let's see. Uh, Tanya McDowell. Tanya McDowell was the sister. They gave her five years in prison because she sent her son to a school across town and she used a fake address or he, she used the address that she didn't live at or whatever the case may be, yo. They gave her five years in prison for that. I don't know the details. I don't care. All I know is George Zimmerman motherfucking ass is still out here walking around. Period. So five years because she and, and she said she she wanted to see she she only did it because she wanted to send her kid to a better school. The neighborhood that she lived in was too rough or something like that. Who does that though? Like who do you send to prison for five years for that because they want to send their son to a better school? Okay. Okay. All right. But y'all letting um <clears throat> y'all letting Donald Trump. Uh, run for president, all right? They gave her five years, all right? The sister in Milwaukee. Shout out to Milwaukee out there, y'all. <clears throat> the sister gets on TV. Now, national platform. She can say whatever she wants. The world is listening. There's riots going on. Come on. Tell us what's on your mind, lady. Let us have it. Get us going. You know what she says? We need our weeds. True story. True story. Go to the other side of town. Burn that shit down. We need our weeds. This is what the woman said on national TV. Like, not the babies need their clothes or the food or diapers or we tired of being uh, just deprived, depressed, oppressed, and all these different things. She says... We need our weeds. Google it. True story. I couldn't believe she's... I just couldn't believe that's what come out of... This is what comes out of your mouth. Everybody's listening. Is y'all listening on Facebook? Are y'all listening out there? Do y'all know the lady I'm talking about? Google her. She says, go to the other side of town. We need our weeds over here. Don't burn down the... Uh, you know, I guess they was burning down the uh, the hair places. Right? 
This is what she said. True story. I, I can't make this shit up, yo. I'm just telling you the current events, all right? Um, <clears throat> there's a man in Arizona that lost 300 pounds by walking to Walmart. I'm going to tell you all that story in a little bit, but I, that's just a, a, a brief scenario right there. 300 pounds. The man lost 300 pounds walking back and forth to Walmart every time he got hungry. Now he got hungry, he said, yo, <clears throat> okay, in order to eat, I'm going to walk there. That's 300 pounds, y'all. Y'all got to see the dude. I, I'm gonna get, I, I don't know the exacts, but all I know is he's in Arizona. But I know one thing. I lived in Arizona. Yeah. I lived in Arizona. <clears throat> when I moved to Arizona, I was as light as, as Elder Barge. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Arizona did to me, y'all. Look, look at this. Look, 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 look. I'm dark now. <laughs> no, seriously, Arizona is, is stupid hot. I mean, like, one, one, one in the morning, six in the morning, four in the afternoon, 150, 200 degrees. <laughs> this is what it seemed like. But I got, when I was there one time, it got to 120 degrees. True story. True story. I remember when I first went, my boy Rob, shout out to Rob. Rob said, hey, man, <clears throat> whatever you do, don't go outside. Now, mind, this is my first day in Arizona. I got there. It was nighttime, so it really wasn't as hot as the daytime. Well, the daytime come, I wake up, boom. I'm, I said, oh, the store right there on the corner. I'm going to walk down the store. Man, I got to the, it feel like people just throwing hot. Boiling water on you as you walk down the street, yo. It's that hot. All right? So I can imagine dude losing 300 pounds. And I mean 300 pounds. Not 300, 300 pounds. That's a lot of, that's a lot of pounds. Ryan Locke and, uh, and company. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know about Ryan Locke, but Ryan Locke is the white boy that went down to Rio de Janeiro. No, no. Is that Rio? That's Rio de Janeiro, right? It's the same place, right? Rio and 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 the the, the place that Chardé was talking about, right? It's the same place they have the Olympics, right? Am I tripping? Okay, all right. This fool go down there and said that uh, uh, they got robbed at at gunpoint uh, by somebody, and really they had a fight, and then the dude from the gas station came out, put out a gun, told man, y'all get your ass out of here. This is real. <laughs> anyway, man, make a long story short. I know that don't got nothing to do with nothing. Butter rum. Come on, man. Keep it copacetic, man. I'm just, I'm just, gl and I'm just glad they ain't say like, yo, like, you know, it was a bunch of black guys or this and that. But I'm sure they had to ask them what color were they. You know, in Rio, see, I bribed by a bunch of white boys in Rio. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Okay, listen. Today we're gonna be talking about ten alkaline foods um, that keeps you that keeps your body uh, uh, clean. Then we're going to talk about five overlooked signs of sleep apnea, okay? And then we're going to talk about 20, I don't know if we're going to have time to talk about all this shit, but we're going to talk about the 21 signs that you're getting too lazy. Now, keep in mind, now I'm talking about fitness. Now, if these signs say that y'all getting too lazy, listen, don't shoot the goddamn messenger, all right? I'm just a messenger, all right? Um, <clears throat> before I go to my break, a few more things. Tip and uh uh, tip and tiny call it quits. I don't know if y'all heard about that, but that's what happens. You know what I mean? The oh man, Bishop Eddie Longstone. <laughs> Punches. Did you see Bishop Eddie Longstroke? Dick Tracy. <laughs> Dick Tracy looked like he got that thing, y'all. Hey, Dick Tracy did the Dick Tracy did. Bishop Eddie Long. What the fuck, dude? Like, really? He talking about you dropped a slave diet, is what he said, y'all. He dropped a slave diet. Whatever the fuck the slave diet is, I don't know what the slave diet is. I ain't never been a slave. Don't plan on being a slave. But I'm assuming that he's talking about the quote unquote soul food. Uh, the uh, he said his thing was macaroni and cheese and 
dish and, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Man, something wrong with you. <laughs> something wrong with you, dude. Period. Like, you can say whatever you want to me. Like, you know what I mean? But you, you... I'm telling you, man, you did, you, you did something. You did something, dude. You ain't going to pull one over on me. I'm a fitness expert. I know when you lose weight, <clears throat> there's certain ways that you're going to look. And you wasn't like you was obese. You were, you had, uh, you were muscular. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't say athletic because, you know, you're old, dude. But you you were kind of muscular. And now you, just, you got your bobble head. And you, I don't know if y'all seen the video. Pull up Bishop Longstroke. I don't know why I keep calling him Bishop Longstroke. Dick Tracy is what he was. He was, he was um, checking into the places with and all that. Yo, dude, you going to hell with gasoline draws on, yo? Straight up. I mean, they gonna be boxers, yo. Straight gas, yo. Cause you, you nuts, man. I had to say something about. It. Look, dude, up. All right, this is the dude that was finagling. The little boys in the church, your little, I don't know, what do you call you? Like, you can't even call you nothing. You know what I mean? You just, like, what kind of person are you to molest kids in the pulpit and all this other shit? And, you know, talk about, so you dropped a slave diet. You don't, boy, let me just stop, yo. Hey! Quit talking about Gabby shit, y'all. I'm telling you right now, y'all. Y'all leave Gabby here alone. All right? She don't give a shit about that. I guarantee you she can flip, flop all over your ass, though, y'all. Y'all leave her here alone, man. She had this issue. And besides that, at least she got a reason for having the natural do. For one, ain't nothing wrong with being who you naturally are. So I'm going on the thing and I'm seeing on the social media, oh, why Gabby, why didn't Gabby uh, put a weave in her hair? Or, or why Gabby didn't do the, why she didn't, uh, blah, blah, blah. She don't have time. She doing flips. She bouncing all over the place. She's getting endorsements. She got a weedy box. Why you ain't even eating your Wheaties? All right. Don't get me started on Gabby, y'all. Oh, I almost forgot to uh, get out of here with um, these chicks right here. The Stump for Trump sisters. Porches, have you seen them? Have you seen this shit? <laughs> have you seen this shit? If y'all have not heard of the Stump for Trump sisters, you don't get no more cooling than this. This is the biggest coon ever. Let me chime in real quick to my peoples in here. Melinda Wise, how you doing? Um, Shamika Turner, Margo, Jackson, Ebony, Austin, Kim. I see you. What's the science, y'all? Y'all give me y'all businesses so I can um so I can shout y'all out on the air. You know what I mean? I know y'all got a couple. I know y'all got. I know. I, I know it's a couple of salon owners. I don't be remembering this shit. So y'all gotta tell me so I can shout y'all shout y'all out on the air. If y'all if y'all don't got no business or nothing like that, just chime in. You know what I mean? Cause you may be fat and you might need to lose some weight. And I got some things that's gonna help you do that too. All right. Now let me get back to these uh uh clowns, the stump for Trump sisters. I don't know where you would get these these human beings from. I don't know where these human beings come from but you got one that's always talking and then you got another one that's on the side just the flunky the coast are just flunky flunky and they got them uh they got the 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 wigs that you pull on like a um uh, like a do-rag with the <laughs> feathers like they got a do-rag feather wig on yo you gotta see this shit i can't I, I, i'm not making this up the stump for trump sisters they out there um Telling Donald Trump stories and saying, yo, and I forget the other dude name that's that's really for him. Um, gosh, this dude is the, the biggest coon preacher. Gee whiz, I can't think of his name though right now. Is it, is it? Not T.D. Jakes, he's a, he's a coon too. But see, the thing about T.D. Jakes, I like T.D. Jakes because he's a common sense preacher. You know what I mean? 
He's a common sense priest. He's gonna preach common sense. This dude is a coon, though. This dude is uh his name is um is it Donald or something? Man, I can't think of his name right now, man. But uh I think he out of Virginia or is it Cleveland? I, I don't know where his name is. But if you if you look him up, just look up the coon preacher for Donald Trump. You'll find him. He, this is the biggest one. Um <clears throat> He said that black people are too dumb to understand Donald Trump's plan. That's just what he said. We too dumb to understand what Donald Trump is talking about. Donald Trump is Adolf Hitler all over again. Straight up. Straight up. And he ain't making no bones about it. Listen, when I come to the White House, I'm going to sit in the chair. I'm going to sit in the office. And I'm going to say, where's that button? <laughs> where's that nuke button? Let's see if them nukes work. And I'm going to tell you something, y'all. I ain't heard nothing from Hillary. But, you know, Hillary's playing it safe. You know what I mean? Um, what did that say? 27 P's? Do that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Hillary playing it safe, y'all. You know, she basically in there. They already, you know, the only way that she can screw this up is if they, she say some 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 crazy, crazy, crazy shit. Like, I don't even know what. I, 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 you really can't screw this up because even if you was leaning towards screwing it up, Donald Trump going to say something that's going to fuck it up. Trust me, this dude is the biggest fuck up in the world. But see, when you got money, see, this is what happens. When you're a billionaire, you don't really have to say much. Money talks for you. See? So when you do finally talk and you got all this money, people see how you really think. See? And that's how that is. All right? So when I come back, when I get back, I'm going to be talking to y'all about fitness, y'all. I'm going to be talking about the current event. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The, uh, the, um, the Rams beat the fucking Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? <laughs> How y'all get down? Y'all down by? And I know it's just the preseason. I know it's just the preseason, but I hate the goddamn Cowboys. So therefore, and y'all not the America's team no more. Anyway, I don't know who is now. I want to say the Giants, my team. Go Giants. Go Giants. Um, But the Rams, they played their first game back here in L.A., and uh, did you go to the game party? Uh, and they was down by 14. And um, they was cool. Who was this on? Was the Eagles? The Eagles? Listen, I like the Eagles. I, the Eagles, uh, I like that song that they sing. Uh, Fly like an eagle. No, that's the Steve Miller band. I'm sorry, I'm tripping. That's the Steve Miller band. But, um... Yeah, the Eagles, they uh they 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 don't pose a threat. I don't know why you would what you would put Eagles up there for. I mean, the fuck. I mean, the Eagles ain't been nothing since Michael Vick. And they won't let Michael Vick, they still tripping off of Michael Vick by them damn dogs. Please leave Michael Vick alone. Y'all done got his little brother acting crazy. He running from the four leagues. Did y'all see his little brother? Y'all just it's a domino effect, y'all. Y'all leave these people. Oh. I don't know who the chick was that dropped the the baton yesterday in the Olympics. Um, but keep your head up, ma. Damn, I was, and you know the cold part? They showed that over and over and over again. You know, when you go through life. <clears throat> And you strive for a goal and you're really ambitious and you're determined and you just know, you know, you know. You think, man, shit, I made it all the way to Reno to drop the baton. Oh, it was cold, too. When she dropped it, it was like, oh, oh, it was just like it was like three. Now, here's the thing. Her whole life going to be be wrapped around that. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a cold. It's gonna be a cold thing for her now. You know what I mean? That may be like uh, dramatic. Like you know what I mean? Like you can't even person can't do you. All you're gonna be thinking now for the rest of your life is I drop the baton in the Olympics. 
not in the practice, not at home, not when I was trying trying out for none of that. I dropped it in the actual games. Oh my God, I feel for you, ma. I feel, and the other chick that 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 was, I don't know whose fault it was. I don't know if it was the chick that was trying to get the baton or the one that was trying to pass it. All I know is it looked like it was in slow motion. Run, 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 boom, 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 pop, 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 pop. I was like, damn. So I feel sorry for you, mom, but you know what I mean? I, I will say. You know, better luck next time, but I don't think they letting your ass come back. You know what I mean? But keep your head up anyway, though, my sister. Power to the people. You can't be dropping the baton, all right? I got to go to a break. I'll be back. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, hey, hey, yo, what's the science, yo? I am Demega. This is the Demega Code. You are live on the air right now on um, Moore's Media Live. Um, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We talking about fitness, y'all. We talking about alkaline, y'all. Have y'all drank your alkaline water? Shout out to Dr. CB. Rest in peace. Rest in power. He was a big, advo big advocate of, of alkaline water. And it was, another, um, it was another brother that just got murdered um, that was a holistic doctor, too. That makes nine, you know? That makes nine holistic doctors. 50? 59 or 50 altogether? Wow, that's a lot, yo. That's a lot. That's a lot right there, yo. Let me see. Let me make sure this is, this is, wow. That's something else, man. So, anyway, shout out to, shout out to, to them. I don't know the brother's name that, that, the, the last person, um, the last person that, that, that it happened to, but, yo, holistic is the way. You know what I mean? It's just so many things. It's, you know, everything, everything from the earth. This was this was this was Dr. Seavey's thing. He said, if it didn't have if it didn't come from a seed, don't eat it. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind, y'all. So the Twinkies and the, <laughs> and the donuts and all these things that we love to eat. Um, if it didn't come from a seed, it's not alive. All right. Twenty one signs you're lazy. 21 signs your laziness has gotten totally out of control. Now, being lazy is the first step towards natural obesity. Follow me now. Being lazy is the first step towards natural obesity. All you got to do is do less of what you do. If you're energetic, if you're already big, if you're already headed towards obesity, if you already battled weight loss, weight this, weight, 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 weight all your life, you know how you're going to end up. All right. So <clears throat> here's are some of the things that you know that you're getting too lazy and this is going to amount to and add to poss possibly you have an obesity. Number one. You've picked up objects with your feet because bending over is too much work. <laughs> Yo, I know some of these is going to sound way out, but I want you to take heed, y'all. If this is you, if this is you. Okay, that's a good question. The poets has asked this, and I'm glad that you asked this. If you have a bad back and you know that you're reaching over to grab something with your feet because you have a bad back or you know you're just doing it because you just don't feel like doing it. Like, here's the thing about these type of scenarios, y'all. You can fool some of the people some of the time. 
But you can't fool yourself. You can try to fool yourself. You can psych yourself out. You can do shit like hide stuff from yourself. and You know, you're going to find it. You hit it from yourself. But if you got a bad back and you have to, by all means, if you have to just, you know, use your feet to scoot something over because you don't, you know, you don't want to. Okay, I get that. But if your back is perfectly fine and, and, and you just, you're lazy. Hey, and you could just be tired. You had a long day at work and this and that. But if it happens all the time, these are the signs that you get lazy. Number two, you've texted your friends when they were sitting right next to you. <laughs> I don't. I didn't write these down. I'm just telling you what it says. These are signs that your lazy. Wait, this says these are signs that your laziness has gotten totally out of control. Twenty one signs. All right. Number three. You've eaten yogurt with a butter knife or no utensil at all when all of the spoons. We're dirty. <laughs> I don't know why your spoons is dirty anyway. That's a sign of laziness right there. You know what I mean? What's your damn spoon? What is everything dirty for in the kitchen? So you're going to use a butter knife and say, okay. Number four, you bought new underwear instead of doing your laundry. Signs of lazy. Yeah, and that's a little nasty too, mixed in with the lazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number five, you've gotten up typing in a wait, wait. You've given up typing in the middle of a sentence because you didn't have the effort to finish your thought. Yeah, that's pretty lazy right there, yo. If you can't even you can't even finish your text because you know what, honey, this is too much. It could be that or you just don't feel like talking to no one. Okay. Number six, you've cleaned your room by shoving everything under your bed. All right. Number seven, you peed in water bottles instead of getting up and going to the bathroom. That's lazy. That's lazy. Number eight, you download something on your Kindle instead of searching through your house for an actual hard copy. What is Kindle? Anybody know? Oh, okay. Hey, this is the day of technology, so you know what I mean. Number nine, you shaved your legs in the living room so you could watch TV. Oh, yeah, it's pretty lazy. <laughs> you shaved your legs in the living room so you... Okay, number 10, you've eaten the crumbs you find on your shirt instead of dusting them off. All right, listen. You eating, you're eating the crumbs off your shirt like this instead of just, <laughs> yeah, that's, whoo. Hey, man, if y'all paying attention to this now, I want y'all to understand these are big small things that can add up to big problems, all right? Number 11, you taught your dog how to fetch the remote. <laughs> that's pretty lazy, yo. Number 12, you poured milk into the cereal box because you were out of clean bowls. Who does that? Who does that one, yo? For real, if you do that, you really, really lazy, all right? Number three, you iron your shirt with a hair straightener? What's a hair straightener? Oh! <laughs> ah! Where did they come up with this at, yo? You iron your shirt with a flat iron. That's lazy, yo. Either that or you or yo, yo. Okay, number 14, <laughs> you waited hours for someone else to get home so that you, wait, 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 you waited hours for someone else to get home so they could make breakfast. That's lazy. Or you just wasn't that hungry or, I don't know. I don't know if that really applies to fat people. You know what I mean? I don't know if it applies to, you know, whatever. Number 15, you've done your homework on the floor because your desk is too messy. <laughs> Anybody guilty of these things? Number 16, you've eaten cold food out of the can instead of cooking it. I don't know if that's such a bad thing. You know what I mean? You can eat tuna out the can. You know, raw, you know the, the, the tuna out the can is, is good. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one. All right. Number seven, you've invited someone over to build your IKEA furniture and then immediately sent them home. Huh? 
Let me read this again. You, you've invited someone over to build your Ikea furniture and then immediately sent them home. I don't know what, what that got to do with any damn thing, y'all. But um, that's what it says. All right. <clears throat> EG, what's the science, yo? I see you. Lucky. I see you. I see the Lucky brand in here. What's the name of your brand, man? Um, I forget the name of it. Tell me the name of it again. I know it's... uh. Uh, I'm going to get it. It's going to come to me before you send it. Watch. Um, the answer? No. The answer? Um, <clears throat> I, I forget. Okay. But send it over. And, uh, yeah. I see you. I see you. EG. Oh, I'm on here. I'm doing my thing. I do fitness. This is what I do. Live and direct. You are live. And let me introduce my folks, y'all, my Facebook people, to my listeners that's all over the world. Shout out to everybody that's listening, where y'all tuned in, chimed in, that. Shout out to the people down in Rio listening. I see y'all. We representing for America out there. Hey, listen, white folks, stop calling me an African-American, all right? That's like calling an African-American. I ain't never been to Africa. So how am I an African-American? I am an American. I was born in America. I was bred in America. Don't give me Bruce. Don't, don't have me go Bruce Springsteen on you. Born in the USA around this joint. But yeah, calling me an African American is like calling an African American. If he in Africa and he's never been to America just because he has American cousins over here, that does not make him American. He's African. I've never been to Africa. Just because I may have African cousins over there, that doesn't make me African. It makes me American. Do we follow me now? Okay. Just wanted to say that. Every you want to put a subtitle on shit, yo. You, wanna have, you don't call white folks white Americans. They just white. I mean, every everything that was was was, was quote unquote uh, what would be the technical term transported here <clears throat> through your brilliant transportation system called slave ships, which y'all want us to completely forget about. However, the very first slave ship was named Jesus Christ. True story. Can't make this shit up, y'all. Did y'all know that? The very first slave ship was called Jesus Christ. And so they like, yo, <laughs> follow Christ. That's why it was like, yo, Yo, they, it's crazy. All right, this is crazy. All right, well, let me get this. Let me get back on track because you know I go all the way, all the way into my, into my history. Uh, you know, what you say, Ebony? Why can't they be called Americans, white people? Huh? What you, what you talking about, Willis? Nate Porter, what's the science, yo? I see you. Lucky Fit, that's what it was. Lucky Fit, I knew it was. I forgot, I forget. Lucky Fit, y'all check out Lucky Fit down there in Arizona. I was just talking about Arizona. So y'all go out there and let my man Lucky make y'all fit. You know what I mean? It's hot, so it is shit. Y'all ain't, it ain't much to do with you. You work out outside, your ass, you um, just drink a lot of water. Drink a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Of, drink a lot, a lot of water. You know what I mean? Is that a word? Lotta? Yeah, drink a lotta. <laughs> drink a lottery water. All right. 18. You've had a mini fridge in your room so you didn't have to get up and walk to the kitchen. Is anybody guilty of this? Let me know. <laughs> you got a mini fridge. Some people just got a mini, mini fridge in, they, uh, in the room that's just full of drinks, alcohol, and, and uh, you know, see rocks. The rock, see rock boys in the building, all right? Number 20, you're still not, hold on, you're still not fully unpacked after moving out of college. Huh? I don't know about that. 
You're, you're still not fully unpacked after moving out of college. All right. Um, whatever that's supposed to mean. All right. And number 21. And it says, and most importantly, I didn't write this shit, Joe, so here we go. 21, and most importantly, you've ordered food from a restaurant that's on the first floor of your building. Hmm. Instead of walking down there. But let's say you had to say you're on your lunch break. You know what I mean? You'll have time to wait. You know, you won't have to go. You know how busy it is down there. So I don't, I don't know about that. You know, sometimes you got to order the food. You know what I mean? However, if you don't have to, then don't. Okay? Um, and on that note, I got to take another break. But guess what? I'll be back. Life goes on. And on. And on. Yo, what's the science, yo? I am the Mega. This is the Mega Code. Why oh, don't put the headphones on? I can hear myself a lot better though, like this though. I like this. Yeah, I might have to. I might have to stay tuned to the God show like this. All right. Um, I'm drinking alkaline water, y'all. So I won't be talking about, if y'all don't drink alkaline water, I'm going to tell you something. You're missing out. You're missing out big time. You know why? Because it's like kryptonite. It gives you an extra amount of energy. I don't know if kryptonite is a good uh, analogy because that's some fictional shit. But you know what I mean? <laughs> this is real life. This is really how it's supposed to be. Yo, who is this? Um, Who we got on here now? We, who, who coming in now? Nicole. Nico Ray, I see you. I see you. EG, you got a book signing coming up. Okay, I like that. Y'all tune, y'all tune into uh, EG's book signing on uh, October 22nd. Um, well, where's it going to be? you like, oh, I can be there. Can I make it? Of course I can make it. You tell me where the fuck is that? I'm there. <laughs> I comes through. I sponsor things like that, y'all. Yo, we do it all live here on the Demega Code Show. Listen, if y'all need sponsorship, if y'all going, if you're getting into some type of... Um, uh, challenge, uh, weight loss, or something like that, hit me up. Because, you know, I got these plexes, the easy movements, complex results. I figured out why everybody's scared to work out. Because <clears throat> a lot of exercises is just hard. So I created some easy shit. Now, you know what I mean? Now, if you, if, if you can't do nothing easy, then you want to be out of shape. See, that's the thing about these plexes. They have just such good shape, it'll take you years to get out of shape. But that's on you. You know what I mean? I could help you. I could show you. I can do everything for you that I could do. But even with that, you have to get stronger yourself. Remember that. See, I'm a very expensive trainer, fitness personality. You know what I mean? But with me, the training is absolutely free. You pay for the results. Now, if you don't want no results, shit, I don't know what you're going to do. It's like the person to say that went to the, uh, uh, what movie is that? It say, um, uh, they went to get some coffee. And they say, um, how much is the coffee, sir? They say, well, um, <clears throat> it's $1.50. I said, oh, shit. Well, how much is the refill? They say, well, the refills is free. He said, well, let me get a refill. See, you got to pay for the way first before you just say, hey, let me have, let me have. You got to do something. But keep this in mind. Something begun is something half done. Figure that. You feel me? So all you have to do is finish it. That's another thing that I say about the workouts. The workouts are already done. All you have to do is do them. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? They already done. But you have to think about it. They can't do themselves. For what? What would it prove? All right? You have to do it. And the workout is already done. You just have to do it. Now, now let's go with the, um, if you don't drink alkaline water, which I highly recommend, you should have a high alkaline diet. That means that's live food, y'all. Not dead food. They just, you drop it and boom, it's just clumped. You know what I mean? Um, okay, EG's book signing. Hold on, I'm going to get back to the, uh, to the alkaline foods in a minute. I'm, I'm chiming in to my, to my listeners that's all over the place, y'all. So wherever y'all chiming in at, uh, this is in Redlands. Redlands on October 22nd. Go in um, to EG's uh, book signing. Um, what's the book going to be about? Um, 
tell us what the book gonna be about, and and we gonna talk about that. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Who else on the line? Demetri, I see you on the line. Demetri Bujo on the line. Um, we got a lot of Arizona people out here, yo. We got a lot of Arizona. I know y'all hot out there in Arizona. I know. I know. Um, <clears throat> it's not that hot out here in Cali. You know what I mean? I like it. It's, the weather's just is is perfect right now. You know what I mean? I was down in Miami. Miami was was. Hey, let me tell you something, man. I'm I'm getting a house down in Miami, yo. You can believe that. You can believe it, or not. But I'm telling you, South Beach, I'm coming for you. You know what I mean? God, it's gonna be only because it's the weather is is is, is like that all 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 year round. It's cool. It's a cool thing. All right. Um, number one, alkaline foods. All right. Listen, almonds and almond milk. You drink almond milk? Hey, Paul, do you drink almond milk? Every now you drink regular milk, like you're not you you lactose intolerant. Okay, yeah, well, I don't drink milk either. You know what I mean? <clears throat> um, I don't see a benefit in it, personally. You know what I mean? There's so many other herbs and vitamins and things like that with the same amount of essentials in it that milk has. So I just think people drink it just because, you know, they, you know, it's customary. That's just what they do. Uh, number one is almond and almond milk, though. These, they have a 44% protein in them, all right? And these are uh, high, alkal healthy alkaline foods. All right, here's one. Number two is amaranth, uh, amaranth. Okay, y'all, I need hooked on phonics. I confess. However, I'm going to spell it out, and then y'all can pronounce it. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's A-M-A-R-A-N-T-H. Amaranth? Amaranth? <laughs> Whatever. It says this is a grain that not many people are familiar with. It makes a great addition to any alkaline-focused diet plan. In addition to being an alkaline forming food, it also is known for its relatively high levels of protein for grain. You see that, y'all? So even though I can't pronounce it, it's good for you. All right. Number three, artichokes. Y'all know about those. All right. Number four, arugula. Number five, asparagus. I don't like none of them. None of them. I'm going to tell you that right now. I just don't like them. I don't like vegetables. I don't like them. That's why I try to take them in the pill form and vitamins and, and stuff like that and juicing and things like that. I just don't like them. I don't, you know. However, I recommend that if you need to lose what you need to lose and find what you need to find, that you take them. All right. Um, what I say? Oxtails. Who eats oxtails, yo? What the hell? Jamaicans. Shout out to the Jamaicans, man. You eat the oxtails. Me, me no eat no oxtail, man. <laughs> me lean like Linux <laughs> from Belly. You wanna rock with me? <laughs> yeah, oxtails though. They, my grandmother used to eat oxtails. You know what I mean? But see, my grandmother, you know, I don't, I don't know. Shout out to my grandmother. You know what I mean? She oxtails and 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 uh, cow tongue and and uh, you ever ate cow tongue porridge? You ever see one? Like, they, they, they cook, like, I used to walk, I walk in the crib, like, and my grandmother had, you know, everybody go to my grandmother's house to eat, and this is, you know, when I was a kid. And I walk in the crib, and this is a big-ass tongue just sticking out the damn pot, just from side to side, just a big, just tongue. And you're like, what the hell? I'm like, dropping the pussy, some salt. I just, I just can't do none of the, I can't do none of the slave diet. I guess the uh, the uh, chitterlings and uh, I can't get past if I can't get past the smell. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I can't see taking the intestines out of another animal and putting the intestines in me. And then my grandmother used to say, yo, <laughs> I got to clean these chitlins. How? When you put it in, you put it in and, and, and it soaks, yo. And, and the smell. 
just, whew, ooh. But, you know, I guess back in slave days, see, this is why God knows when to have certain people be alive in time periods and things like that. You know what I mean? Because, and then you have to understand your purpose in life when that happens. Like, think back. Think, why didn't God make me a slave? Why wasn't I picking cotton? Why wasn't I in the back of the slave quarters and smoldering heat and getting... Why wasn't it? Because I personally, I wouldn't have made a good slave. <laughs> you know what I mean? For one, I'm hard-headed. I'm a Scorpio. I'm everything that goes against slavery. I'm an alpha male. I'm, they would have, I would have been the one <clears throat> that they would, I would have been like Kunta. They'd had to cut my foot off. And, and, and was it Kunta or was it Chicken George? Which one was, was that? Huh? They cut his foot off, right? Yeah, they cut, they cut King Kunta's foot off, yo. And <laughs> shout out to Kendrick Lamar. I like that song, King Kunta. King Kunta. Hey, play that song on my next break, yo. I like that song, yo. King Kunta. I don't know the words, but I just know he be. Don't do. All right. Um, oxtails are big in Miami. I don't. Don't nobody want no oxtails, y'all. What the hell is going on with oxtails, man? Do you eat squirrel or raccoon? See, my grandmother eat raccoon. Like, you just never know what was in the pot when you walk in there. All right, number seven, basil. All right. Uh, number eight, beetroot. These are high alkaline uh, foods that you can eat, y'all. I don't know how you would cook them like that. Uh, broccoli, number nine. Even though Dr. CB was against broccoli, he said it was a hybrid thing. And he was really against cauliflower. He was like, there's no melanin in the cauliflower. That serves no purpose. It's all just raw. I, I was like, okay, well, got to listen to Dr. CB sometime. You know what I mean? Okay. Number 10, Brussels sprouts. Number 11, buckwheat. Number 12, cabbage. High alkaline, y'all. Number 13, carrots. I didn't know carrots. I didn't know carrots. I didn't know that. Carrots got a high vitamin A, y'all. They got 336% vitamin A in it. Did y'all know that? Carrots are good for your eyes. But their overall effect is also an alkaline one. I didn't know that, y'all. See, I'm learning shit myself. I'm learning shit myself. Oh, I forgot I had a I had a caller. I got a guess. I got a guess, but I guess that she didn't call. So, so much for her. And uh, cauliflower. Um, I was just talking about cauliflower. No. Um, celery. I never really knew the benefits of celery, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Enlighten myself. You've got to love celery, even if you don't necess even if you don't necessarily love the taste. In addition to being an alkaline food, it's also very low in calories and can boost your body with a number of nutritional benefits. I didn't know that. If you don't like crunching it, if you don't like crunching it up and having the shreds get stuck in your teeth. Pulverize it in the blender while you're making a green smoothie or um, a fruit smoothie. All right. Y'all got that? Number 16, chai. You know what chai is? You, you know what chai is? C-H-I-E, chai. That's what it is. Chai. You might not think these little seeds, L they little seeds, could pack such a nutritional punch as uh, it has a high effect on your pH, uh, your pH levels. And on top of all of health benefits, everyone raves about them. Chai seeds. Chai seeds, y'all. Go to Whole Foods, y'all know. Um, it helps with your alkalinity. All right? Chai. I, I, don't, I don't really do chai, but anyway. Chives. Y'all know what chives is. It's increased. Uh, that's vitamin A, and then it's good uh, for alkaline, too. You find a lot of them. You put your chives on your, uh, on your baked potatoes. All right? Number 18, Cilantro. Y'all know about the cilantro. I know y'all know about the cilantro. You get the cilantro to, 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 for your tacos. That's all I ever eat cilantro on is tacos. Y'all eat cilantro on these things, All right. Number 19, uh, coconut. Coconut. Um, coconut got high alkaline? I didn't know that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The health benefits of coconut milk, water, and flesh are all well documented, and now you can add alkalinity to the list of benefits, y'all. 
All right. It's sometimes hard to think of ways to add more coconut into your life. Huh? And since you won't uh, avoid packing, uh, you want to stick to things like coconut oil, coconut water, and fresh coconut in order to reap the benefits. Coconut oil, coconut water, and fresh coconut to reap the benefits, y'all. So in other words, don't be, don't be uh, thinking that you're going to reap the benefits from eating a goddamn almond joy. You feel me? Well, you know, nigga, it said it got coconut in it, duh. <laughs> Paul just said, that's her. Well, shit, it do got some coconut in it. <laughs> All right. Number 20, collard greens, y'all. Uh, the collard greens is high on, on uh, uh, alkalinity. And they say collard greens are uh, a staple soul food. And this is one vegetable to get familiar with if you're not already. Being a green, it's swinging some serious alkaline. And in addition to that, it's made our list of top cancer-fighting foods. Did y'all hear that? Listen, obese people, collard greens is a top cancer-fighting food. Y'all get a break on the collard greens, y'all. Y'all can thank me later. <laughs> but that don't mean you got to eat the smothered pork chops and the smothered this and the... I said the collard greens, goddammit. Don't be, don't be in there talking about, well, Megan said I can eat the collard greens and since I'm here... No, no. And since you there, get some more goddamn collard greens. Don't, don't get no more. You can listen. You can never overeat healthy. Keep this in mind. I'm going to tell you that right now. You can never overeat healthy. I'll tell it to my truck drivers and people that's riding around all day or they sitting around at the office and they can't go nowhere, but they can eat and nibble and shit like that. Stop putting things in your reach that are unhealthy. If you can nibble and you, you have time to snack and all that, put healthy shit around the snack on. All right? Don't be sitting around with donuts in this corner and, and cakes in this corner and ice cream, all, all the bad shit. And you keep sitting around talking about something. I just don't know how I managed to gain. Stop lying, yo. That's another thing, yo. The biggest lie you're going to tell is to yourself. All right? Because guess what? You have to pay attention to that lie the most. Yourself. You do. Everybody on the outside looking in. You're on the inside looking now. So we see you in there. Wherever you are, whoever you are, we see you in there. But don't blame us if we don't. That means that you got lost in yourself somewhere. All right? And don't get lost in yourself. And that's another thing that I was going to talk about real quick. I don't know if I'm going to have time, though. Shit. It's flowing so nice around this joint, y'all. And I hope y'all getting something out of this. I hope y'all learning. You know what I mean? Because I'm teaching. All right? Number 21, cucumbers. Cucumbers is good, y'all. They're good, to, uh, you know, you know, they're good. To oh, this is say. Here's a heavy hitter that you'll want to keep stocked in your refrigerator. It is alkaline and contains so much water that it's very hydrate. It's a very hydrating vegetable. That's right. Keep the peels for the best results. What? Keep the pills for the best world. If that's just too much for you, for one way, uh, this is this not only adds to the presentation, but also makes a healthier, uh, healthier you. All right. Number twenty-two, cumin. <laughs> I, I didn't know that there was a uh, what it was. Oh, it's a spice. True story. It's called cumin. C U M I. In coming. Hey, <laughs> it's a spice. It says 22. Coming. Coming. It. No. Coming. Like, coming. C U M I N. Coming. <laughs> That's the name of the spice. Coming is one of those spices that you either have in your home or you don't. Depending on the type of food you're used to cooking, if you if you are if you already use it often, just keep it up. But if you, ha if you haven't, if it's not too familiar, it's time to add it to your cart the next time you go shopping. All right, it's a spice that can actually help you help your body neutralize the acidic foods that you eat, which means that it's going to have a heavy doubting effect. Oh, wait, 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 a heavy 
doubling effect when used in conjunction with vegetables and other alkaline foods. So in other words, if you if you're cu eating cumin while you're eating other alkaline foods, it boosts it up. It says doubling effect. It has a doubling effect. I'm gonna have to do, get, get some of that coming. Coming sound like it's, it's it's healthy. All right. So y'all try that one out now. Coming. Might, might have to go back to number twenty two. It's called coming. <laughs> twenty three. Huh? Dandelions. I ain't eating no dandelions, y'all. I don't know what's what's going on now, y'all. It says twenty three dandelions. Dandelions. True story. You just have to get over the fact that these that this is a considered a pesky weed in most lawns. The flower and the root are both very nutritious. And while it may take a bit of effort to start incorporating into meals, it's worth it. It's an alkaline food, no doubt, also has a detoxifying effect on the body. One other major bonus is that it can help to lower your blood pressure. So, so much so that. It found its way into our list of foods that help lower blood pressure. I don't know if you ever ate, eaten a dandelion before. I haven't. Have you, Paulus? They said that it's healthy. This is, I'm just telling you what it says. Here's the stats on it. Vitamin A, 54%. Vitamin C, 32%. Calcium, 10%. I never knew that. All right? So listen, y'all, if you get hungry, you know what I mean, and you're like, yo, Shit, go outside and get your dandelion or something, yo. I guess. I don't know. Sprinkle some sugar on it or something, maybe. Or, uh, as obvious, you got to eat it raw. I don't know if you want to eat the ones with the, the little white things, though. Maybe it has to be the yellow dandelion. This is the, I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah, y'all yeah, can't see it. Anyway, it got the yellow dandelions on there. Number 24 is eggplants. All right? Eggplants, y'all. That's 24. That's not just the emojis for, for the horny chicks. Eggplants are good to um um have, all right? Number uh twenty five. Indiv, indiv. I uh, I don't know what this says. I think it says E N D I V E. E N D I B E. All right, whatever that is, that's what that's a good one too. Twenty six flaxseed oil. I know you know about that. Flaxseed oil number 27 is garlic. 28 is ginger. Gluten-free breads. Goat's milk. I will not be drinking goat's milk. I'm sorry. I just don't see it. I will never <laughs> see it. You ever drink goat milk, Porter? Can you can you picture that? I don't see the I don't see it. I'm so they're gonna have to show me something. Goat milk is different than cow's milk. And it's better tolerated by most people than dairy products from cows. It also reacts differently in the body than cow's milk. No shit! It comes out of a goat and a cow. You know the milk, you know the, you know. <clears throat> I don't actually like the milk that come, like, comes out of the breast, but I like the actual process of, yeah. Um... 31, grapefruit, that's a good one, alkaline. 32, um, green beans, I don't like green beans, but they're good. Number 33, herbal teas. Number 34, kale, and I ain't talking about kale. Kales, what is wrong with you with this girl, with this 19-year-old girl, Kales? Come on, man, I did, sidebar, sidebar. Kales! Stop it. <laughs> Stop it, man. Please? The girl is what? 18? 17? 18? 19? Kills you 50. Stop it. Stop it. It's obvious the girl ain't got no daddy because he would have whooped your ass by now. I'm sure. How? Who? Right. And that's Kells. You know, Kell kind of went over there, did an Ike Turner. Yeah, you know. Hey, uh, how you doing? Uh, I'm going to take anime with me. Uh, <laughs> Ike was a cold piece, boy. He went over there. He just went, went straight to the mines. Okay, listen. Um, 35 is kelp. Kelp? Um, 36, uh, corrosion wheat. That's K-O-R-A-S-A-N wheat. Never heard of it. Sounds intelligent. Sounds important. 
Let me break it down. Here's one of the first few wheat-based items of alkaline foods in list. It actually does contain gluten in it. The reason it makes onto the list is that it's digested differently than other wheats. Because uh, I'm a wheat eater, y'all. All right? And protein, the regular wheat, so you're getting a better nutritional punch and also helping to stay on the alkaline side. Whew, I'm telling you, y'all, if y'all get y'all high alkaline diet, you see how my energy level is. That's, this is natural, baby. This is all natural. You know what I mean? Ain't none of that. They say, well, um, your body is all alkaline anyway. Uh, Lakeisha Harris is in the room. There you go. I see you. Come on. Get on here and start something. You know, I, we, I go back and forth with her about the, about the Christian thing. I was asking uh, my Christian peoples. I know this is a sidebar. I'm going to get back to, this, to the, to the uh, nutritional stuff in a minute. But sidebar, uh, my Christian people, please, if you would, any one of you, would you, would you please call in and tell me, have you seen a picture of Jesus in your church? I'll wait. And if you have, I would like to know what nationality is he? Okay. If you would know, let me know. Lakeisha Harris, we know that you uh, believe that uh, you believe that Jesus was a midget, right? I'm just playing. So listen, number 38, lemons. Number 39, lentils, lentils. Oh, yeah, I think I talked about those on my show before, lentils. L-E-N-T-I, lentils. L-E-N-T-I-L-S. Okay. Number 40 is lettuce, although that's like just water, unless it's the dark lettuce. You added the dark lettuce for the nutritional value. Other than the light lettuce, that's just like drinking water, All right? It's 7.365, and it does the same thing as your bloodstream. All right. I know that I sound kind of intelligent as I break these things down to you in a similar fashion. However, I've studied these things for the past 15 years, and therefore I look like this. Dum, da, da, dum. And you can too. If you eat lima beans, number 41. Number 42, limes. Number 43, mallet. Number 44 is mint. Mint. Mint condition. Number 45. Mung beans. I don't know what a mung bean is. Mung bean. I don't know what it is, but it says that mung beans have links to lower cholesterol, battling certain types of cancer, and helping to prevent and manage diabetes. Ah, uh, see? Don't be dumb. Listen, man, don't sleep on the mung beans. You mung bean heads. <laughs> 45. Mustard greens. We went from collard greens. We got mustard greens, y'all. Leafy. They got a they got 118 percent vitamin A, 65 percent vitamin C, and um five percent iron. Ted Smith, what's the science, baby? I see you. I see you. What you got? Calling you got calling every school. Got to get in the gym. All right, cool. <laughs> Don't sidebar the food subject. What you talking about, Lakeisha? What you what you need? What you need to know? Cause this is what I do. I do food. Huh? Okay. Marlon Luckett said, um, <clears throat> I, I know I was I was on, on the right track and on the right train. Uh, romaine lettuce, never iceberg lettuce, y'all. Never iceberg lettuce, romaine lettuce, says Lucky. And he'll have you fit and he'll let you know. Number 47, navy beans. All right? To my old beast people, those are navy beans. Don't make no excuses like, oh, well, you know, I ain't in the Navy, so I can't eat those. No, no, no. That's not what the fuck I'm talking about. And you know that. Quit making excuses. I'm saying Navy beans, high alkaline diet, high alkaline diet. Number 48, new potatoes. A new potato. I don't know what a new potato is. Okay. Uh, let's just find out. You're not used to buying new potatoes. You just have to look a little closer at the descriptions. They may cost a little bit more than regular potatoes, but it's worth... For the alkaline benefits, it just means they're picked prematurely. In addition to having better taste, they also keep your body alkaline and help to get. Okay. Try them and you'll see just how delicious and alkaline <coughs> aware diet they are. Add chives. Got you. Number nine. I mean, number, uh, number 49, okra. Okra. Okra is high alkaline diet. It's a, a high alkaline diet. Okra. I mean, okra. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. 
Number 50, y'all. It is olive oil. You eat a lot of olive oil porches. You cook like you can cook like your potatoes and you cook your the, yeah, salads. Okay, yeah, the, the salads, but you can cook like your, 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 like people, you can cook like chicken in it and you can fry, you can fry, you know, you can fry your food in and shit like that. Okay, you know. Number 51, onions, um, parsley. Number 53, peas. 54, um, uh, pomegranates. Pumpkins and pumpkin seeds. Uh, Kuano, Kiwano. Q, y'all pronounce this for me, y'all. All right, y'all probably know this one better than me. Q U I N O A. Quinoa, quinoa. Yeah, that's what that says. Quinoa. See, they need to have some pronunciation shit around here. This is when this is another thing that get people thrown off. It's like, dang, they read something like, you know what? That sound good. And then like, yo, I, I ain't gonna go because I don't, I don't, I don't, I ain't gonna sound stupid trying to pronounce this shit. Anything just to not eat healthy, you know what I mean? Pronounce it, spell it out. Quinoa. That's Q U I N O A. Quinoa. That means quinoa is getting more and more mainstream attention as one of the healthiest foods you probably aren't eating. The reason is it's so versatile and easy to use. It has more vitamins and minerals than many other grains out there. Quinoa. I've never heard of it, but there it is. Radish. Number 59, red beans. Uh, 60, rhubarb. Ah, I remember rhubarb. You remember rhubarb, boys? They, they, they grow in the backyard, and, and, and it, it may be an East Coast thing. I don't know. Fuck shit. I don't know. It's a, rhubarb, though, is um, R A. I never knew that this is how it was spelled, though. I just never knew that, but I knew you pull it out the ground, and it looked like celery. Y'all know what rhubarb is, right? It looks like celery. Oh, it says, oh, quinoa. Oh, quinoa. Okay, got you. It looks like celery, um, but it's called rhubarb. And we used to take it. We used to jump over people's yard and jump over the fence. And snatch their root ball. And if they had a berry tree, we jump in the berry tree. We it'd be a good old time though. It was a good day. But I didn't realize how healthy they were. You know what I mean, now I know. And my grandmother would come in, she'd be having root balls and stuff like that. And they eat, when you eat them, they eat just like celery stuff. They taste good. They they like sour. And they uh, I'm gonna go, I'm going to Whole Foods to give me some root balls just for that. You know what I mean? Just for that, just to bring back um one more thing. Number uh sesame seeds. All right, um, uh, sesame seeds, soybeans, spinach. Spinach is high alkaline. That's why you think Popeye was doing it like that? High alkaline, yo. I never did understand the arm thing like that, but anyway. Number 64, sprouts. 65, squash. 66, sunflower seeds. Sweet potatoes, y'all. The sweet potato, full of alkaline. I should eat those more. But I like French fries and shit like that. But that's why I work on my abs so much because I like shit like that because, you know, I just do. All right. 68, um, um, what's that? Swiss car. Damn, we got through all of these, y'all. 69 is is thyme, T-H-Y-M-E. Uh 70 is tofu, which I refuse. <laughs> To eat. I would rather put cardboard. I you put some sprinkles of salt and pepper on cardboard and some some uh hot sauce and uh what's that real hot sauce? The, the tapatio sauce? You put some of that on, on, on cardboard and, and that's the same shit that's what tofu tastes like. Now however, if you like tofu you like tofu to, uh porches? No. Nah. I, I don't think so. You you don't like the type that I like tofu. Like <laughs> no. tofu is just it's hey, if if you like Stuff that's like stuff, then that's what you eat. Like if you want some food, like say you want some something, say you want some chicken that's not chicken, but it's like chicken, go get some tofu chicken. You know what I mean? I guess it's for your imagination. I don't know. I don't do tofu at all. I'm sorry. I don't know what type of alkalinity it has in it. I don't even care. I tried it once to try. See, I mean, it takes back. I tried to be a vegan one time, y'all. I tried to be a vegan one time for about a week. <laughs> and it was like, oh, no, this ain't going to work. You know what I mean? Wait a minute. I can't. Wait. I, I can't. You can't eat nothing. So guess what? 
I just start drinking alkaline water. And what that does is it takes everything out of all the nutrients that's not supposed to be in there, just like if you were a vegan but leaves in the good stuff. That's what alkaline water does, and that's what a high alkaline um, um, diet does. And that's why I just gave you these high alkaline um, ingredients, and I gave them all to you. Uh, the last two were um, wheat grass. Wheat grass. Um, I've never eaten wheat grass, but um, it's good in iron, vitamin A, vitamin C. Uh, 74 zucchini. And that would be all of them, y'all. That's a high alkaline diet, y'all. I don't know, a lot of this, most of the stuff I don't eat. But hey, <clears throat> it's all good. Tofu can do what? Tofu is seasoned, uh, seasoned to your liking, huh? Uh, um, nah, I don't want no tofu, though. I, that's, that's all good. <laughs> listen, listen, y'all. It's been a dope show, man. I wish I had so much more stuff to talk about, but I got into this nutritional thing because guess what? This is what I do. And I don't want y'all to, to, to leave not being healthier than when you came. All right? Now, this show is over. I want you, no matter what you do, from the best to your worst, you keep God first, all right? And always keep getting closer to your dreams. One love. Mm -hmm.